Hi, I'm Julie with Find Your Joy Crochet, and today we're gonna dip dye some yarn. I'm super excited, so stick with me. I'm dip dyeing yarn today with Wilton Icing Color. This is in the color of violet, and I pre-soaked my yarn in plain tap water for about 30 minutes, added the Wilton into the pot, warmed everything up a bit, and started dip dyeing my yarn. And you can see that the red in the food coloring breaks really fast, and you can kind of see that ring around the pot. The blue hits really slow, so as I'm dipping, it might look blue, but as I'm pulling it up, um, you might be able to see it in this one, it pulls really, really pink, and then the moment you put it back in, it looks blue again, there it goes really pink, see the blues kind of run off. And then um, as you keep dip dyeing it, you'll get this really, really pretty, like robin egg blue color that it finishes with. And you can see here, it starts with deep purples and pinks, and then you get this blue, and um, it's so fantastic because you get that kind of gradient throughout the yarn, and then where the blue is at the very top, it kind of hits really slow. I actually replicated the process with some extra stock solution of Dharma acid dye right here, and I was trying to see if I could get a similar result, and I really did, but I still like the Wilton color a little bit better. There you can see it in the pot. It kind of sits there and um, soaks in all that color. I used the Simply Wool Twist by Knit Picks for the duplication with my Dharma color. For the dip dyeing with the Wilton, I used Wool of the Andes. This is in sport weight, and I use this because it's 100% wool and it takes a longer time for the color to strike so you can get a better chance of the breaking. Here's the yarn drying on my drying rack. Um, you can see the one on the left had more blue, the one in the middle ended up being a really darker blue. Um, really interesting because I have a lot more pink in that first one. This one, second one is a lot more purple. The blue is deeper. And then this is the one I duped and I used the stock solution of Dharma on it. And I still am really, really, really happy with this one. It was just something I wanted to experiment with to see if I would get any sort of difference. I did have a tiny bit of pink somewhere on here. I'm not sure if I actually remember showing that or not, but regardless, what a really fun colorway. Here is my final result after everything is dried. And this is full on breaking of yarn, I mean, or of color. This is the pinks, the purples, the blues. This is how you break a color. And I am so thrilled with the results. I love the three different colors that are in the yarn. And I really hoped you liked watching this video as well. Check my Etsy shop out, go to my website. I have a lot of yarn um, listed on Etsy and I have a lot of yarn that I'm constantly adding. And I would really appreciate all the support. This is last picture is the dupe right here. And look at that colorway. Isn't it stunning as well? Oh, I love it. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. This is Julie with Find Your Joy Crochet. Again, check my website out to shop my Etsy store. It's findyourjoycrochet.com. Thanks again.